Hey everyone, Wayne here. Today we're going to do a playthrough of a minor bridge mission from the Libya 1984 campaign from Hornet Leader. Um, before we get started, first off I want to thank DVG for providing this copy of the game. I'd also like to thank everyone who's donated to the channel. Um, I really appreciate it. All of it goes towards new games. I do occasionally get um, review copies of games, games that I can show off to you guys, such as this one from DVG. However, the vast majority of games I buy myself, purchase myself, and I buy quite a bit of them. So, um, in an effort to you know keep that going, I sure appreciate any donations. And please, if you're not subscribed, if you enjoy my content, subscribe. Comment below. Let me know what you like, don't like, whatever. What games you want to see coming up. Um, especially, I always appreciate people saying, "Hey, can you cover this game? Hey, can you cover you know whatever?" Definitely love to hear that from you guys. So, all right. Uh, all that said, let's go ahead and dive in. So, like I said, I have the a minor bridge mission. So our job is to blow up this minor bridge. I have already set up the game for the most part here. Um, technically, I'm doing it as part of the Libya 1984 campaign. So what that means is if you look up here, we are at target 14. This minor bridge, which is right in that middle band right here, which means we lose two weight points and we're going to gain two extra stress at the end of the mission. So losing two weight points is going to hurt us. Each of our um, hornets here it has a normal weight point allowance of eight, so they only have six currently. I do have them already fully equipped. I don't need to you know, go over that with you guys. Uh, it's pretty simple. You just pick out what weapons you're allowed, what weapons you think are going to work, and just go for it. So let's go ahead and dive in. And we are going to do the same guys as before. Uh, we got old Panther. This is, is the flight leader leading a team of Wolf, Bear, and then Brick flying the old Hawkeye over here. So all right, let's go ahead and jump in. Um, we'll start off with the target bound flight phase here. Draw a target bound event card. We'll draw a first event card. Sierra Hotel. Add one to your attack and suppression die rolls. Nice. That'll really help us. Perfect. So all right. Um, place our aircrafts. So we have our aircrafts here. Let's see. Let's go ahead. Let's come in from the south. So we'll do the standoff attack area. Panther and wolf here. Bear and brick over here. That'll work. Determine and place bandits. I already have the sights down. Um, that was part of the pre-flight. So now we do any bandits. So we look. Bandits. Zero in approaches. One in the center. Have our little thing here. We go ahead and give her a shake. Go ahead and draw one out of here. Um, all right, what do we get here? Okay, so it is a MiG-25, so it's a pretty pretty tough aircraft, so let's see what we do here, see what happens. So, all right, um, terminal place bandits, Intel air defense adjustment. Um, I don't have anything on there right now, but that would be from here. So an Intel adjustment would be, you know, with no change, losing a center sight, losing a bandit, whatever. So basically the farther along, the more it would help us. Draw over target event card. So now that we're over the target, we can go ahead and draw another event card. Eight, uh oh, AAA vehicles, right in the middle here. Move one random site in the center area to a random area containing your aircraft. All right. So there are two sites in the middle here, both uh, anti aircraft missiles or surface to air missile launchers, it looks like. So both of these will so we'll do uh, odds and evens. Odd, real odd. So this top one here, and it's going to move to where my aircraft are, which I'm in two different areas. So one of those two. So we'll do odds and evens. All right, evens, so we'll be right here. So this top guy just moves down here. Fortunately for me, he can only hit low altitude and all my aircraft are coming in at high altitude. So he shouldn't be able to get me unless I somehow drop down over here, which I don't think I'm gonna do. All right, go ahead and discard that event. Phoenix missile attacks. Phoenix missiles are only carried by F-14 Tomcats. We have none of them, so not gonna happen. Uh, place term counter. All right, turn one. Go ahead and begin our over target segment. So over target, um, jettison decision. We're not going to jettison anything. That would be, you know, if we're getting into dog fights. So if we had a lot of maybe bandits, we might want to do that. But our, really, our goal here is to get in, knock out maybe a couple of these sites. That definitely that MiG twenty five, and then destroy that bridge. So we're not going to worry about uh, jettisoning anything. Um, start off fast pilots attack. That'll be uh, Panther and Wolf here. Let's see if we even are in range of anybody. Um, Panther. No, because he's focused on anti-ground. As you can see, his bomb loadout is all here, and he has no missiles, no anti-air missiles. Wolf, on the other hand, only has one bomb, and the rest are anti-aircraft. He's our anti-aircraft guy today. So Wolf definitely wants, so they're both fast. Panther and Wolf are fast, bear is slow. So Panther and Wolf, let's see. No, I don't think we're, yeah, they're not really in range of anybody. Longest range he has on this harm missile is three. AGM-88 harm. One, two, three. Technically, he could shoot at this site here, 
but it's not really a threat at the moment. That'll be a bigger threat. Let's get a little closer before we attack. So I think Panther's going to sit tight. Wolf, let's see. He attack one, two, three, and uh, only a max range of two with his anti-aircraft missiles here. Sparrows and Sidewinders. Nah, see, Wolf's not going to be able to attack either. So basically going to sit tight. Unfortunate, but we're just too far away to really do anything right now. Let's go to the Sights and Bandits attack. None of the sites can reach us. The closest, none of them can even hit high altitude except this service air missile more advanced one up here he has a range of three one two three so he can't get to us yet next turn if we get closer which we will um he'd be able to reach us so but there's a bandit that can hit us this mig 25 right here one two three one two three either way we're three he has a range of four so he's gonna go ahead and uh, be shooting at one of us so we gotta figure out who he's gonna shoot at who's he gonna attack we have our four guys are all in equal range. I'm going to shoot at the closest. We have four guys in equal range. So we're going to go ahead and just roll. I'm gonna do, what I'm going to do here is left to right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then nine or ten will just be a reroll. Eight. So he's going to shoot at Panther. Um, he's going to go ahead and shoot at the flight leader. Bummer. Um, go ahead with the uh, air-to-air attacks. Um, you, you, uh, look at our, uh, excuse me. I'm sorry. The fence. I'm trying to think of it for a second here. My, my bad. Oh, somebody was thinking about the air-to-air uh, -air attack, but that's not what we're doing. We're doing defensive here. Um, so we look at our EC. Do we have an ECM pod? Which we do. Panther does. So if he rolls a six or higher, the attack will be negated. Eight. So the attack is negated. Fortunately, you know, his ECM pod missile flies wide, misses him. Good job. Good flying Panther, and uh, good job having those ECM pods. I always outfit my guys with ECM pods if I can. They they can really help, um, especially if you get. Like a MIG like that that even outranges my guys. So, very cool. Alright, well we go, went ahead and took care of him. So now we have the uh, slow pilot's attack. Let's see, we have range here of three on that harm. Again, I just, I want to get one, two, three. See, I know I should probably be attacking that one as well. But I want to wait till I get closer so I can try to take this guy out. And make sure I have enough missiles to take him out. So, yeah. So what we're going to do is go ahead and just move on. Aircraft move and adjust altitude. Let's go ahead and move Panther, Wolf, Bear into the uh, pre-approach area here on the southern area we'll leave them at high altitude bricks he's gonna go ahead and chill back here stay out of harm's way so i don't know if i'll even need him for this mission i played this mission through before i didn't had to use any of his situational awareness or uh for ignoring events which i suppose i could have done on the aa thing but it didn't really matter so all right let's go on man to turn counter oh excuse me i'm gonna skip a step but i just knew it wouldn't matter so bandits move if the bandit was not in range of us he would move I know that he's in range. Obviously, he already shot at us back here. Now we're even closer. So he's not going to move. He's going to sit tight in the center. So you can go ahead and advance our turn to turn two. So right at the top here, fast pilots attack, panther wolf. Now we can start getting into some good stuff. So I think wolf wants to take out that MiG-25 for sure. Um, so what we're going to do, one, two, we're two away. So we have our aims, two aim seven sparrows. There's only ones that can reach. The other ones are side winners. They only have a range of one or up to one, I should say. So these AIM-7 Sparrows, let's go ahead and shoot these off at that MiG-25. Um, let's go ahead and look at Wolf. Air-to-air -air is plus zero. The MiG itself has a plus one attack modifier. So target modifier is plus one. No weapon modifier. So we have a total of plus one to our die roll. We have to roll a six or higher. So really a five. So we get a five or higher. We have to roll twice, two missiles. One hit is going to destroy that MiG. Let's see what happens. Eight. Boom. Eight plus one is nine. Easy. Destroys that MiG. Nice job, guys. Good job, Wolf. All right, both those missiles are spent. Now we we'll look at Panther, see what he's going to do. Um, I think, let's see, his harm missile here is AGM-88. has a range of three. One, two, three. I want to try to take out that uh, site here, the surface air missile. Otherwise, it's going to one, two, three. It's going to be able to get attack us this turn. So I got to go ahead and try to take that out. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot my AGM-88 harm missile. Go ahead and look at my air to ground, plus zero. Target modifier, no modifiers on that surface air missile, and no modifiers on my weapon. And remember, the harm missile is honing on radar. It has the little radar uh, note. Therefore, it is, you know, it's attackable by the harm missile. So, no modifiers at all. So, I just need to roll a four or higher to get that hit and destroy it. Oh, I think it rolled off a seven onto a three. So, I think it was on that seven. Too bad. So, that's, nope, did not work on that one. Unfortunately, now... As we move on to Sights and Bandits attack. Luckily, we destroyed that one bandit. The MiG is gone. However, the Sights will get to attack. 
and this site right here can attack us. One, two, three. Yep, he can attack. He's gonna try to attack one of these three that are closest. Let's ignore brick because brick's way back here. So we're gonna go ahead randomly. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten will just be reroll. Two. So he's gonna go after bear. He senses bear is the uh, air to ground expert here on this mission, and he's gonna go after him. So, um, let's see, do I have uh, anything in range to try and suppress? Well, actually, I suppose I should do the ECM pod first. My bad. Always make sure to follow the, you know, follow it in order. That way you're not um, wasting stuff you don't have to. So, first of all, Bear has the ECM pod. Same as uh, Panthers. Just roll six or higher, and the attack is negated. Two, so the attack does come through. Let's go ahead and suppress. I'm going to try to use Wolf's air-to-ground missile. Should I? Yeah, I'll try to use his to suppress. So, he's going to shoot his missile, um, just like Panther did. It's a harm missile. Fortunately for us, Wolf has a minus two to air ground attack. No other modifiers. So it's going to total a minus two. So he has to roll at least a six to hit. It's cocked eye. Look at that. It's like between a five and a nine. So I'm not going to take it. I'll go ahead and just reroll it. Five. So no good. Um, normally it would be, but he has a minus two. So which and that wouldn't have destroyed it anyway. It just would have uh, suppressed the attack. So all right. So the attack is coming through. It's not suppressed. Bear's going to go ahead and try to evade. Um, so what he does is he's going to go ahead and add two stress on him. Oh, where is he at? Here we go. Go ahead and add two stress to bear. And then what we'll do is we'll roll this twice and we'll take the lowest roll for the attack. The first roll is a one. We're going to take that one, try that right now, and a nine. So nine would have destroyed bear. We rolled a one. So we're going to go ahead and take the one, which his lowest number is a two, which means no hits. No stress, nothing like that happens to Bear, other than the stress from evading. So, good job evading Bear. Um, Alright, cool. Uh, that was the Sights and Bandits attack, so the Slow Pilots attack. So now Bear, he's going to go ahead and try to get his revenge. He's going to shoot his harm missile at that site here. I was hoping to be able to have one of the harms for this site, but it doesn't look like it. So, he's going to go ahead and shoot there. Um, Bear, look at his air ground. He has a plus one. No target modifier, no weapon modifier. It's a total plus one. We only need a four to hit, so we just need to roll a three. A two. All right, so nothing. All right, that's a bummer. These guys are getting whooped here. So, all right, so miss, 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 miss. Um, that surface air missile keeps hiding or something. Um, all right, so that was a slow pilot. So aircraft moving just altitude. Bear, wolf, and panther are going to move into the southern approach. Or they're going to stay, yeah, they're going to stay at high altitude. No reason to drop to low. There would just be a target of more sight at this point, so... Go ahead and stay at a high altitude. Bandits move. There are no bandits left. So I'm going to go ahead and advance the turn counter to turn three. Start at the top. Fast pilots attack. Um, Panther. See what he can do. He. So right now he has no. His only bombs are range of zero. So basically you have to be right over the target to drop his bombs. So no worries there. And then Wolf can't drop any of his. Or he doesn't have any I should say. He only has surface air missiles. And then Bear only has his bombs, which he's a little slow anyway, but range of zero as well. So it looks like none of our fighters can do anything right now except get shot at. <laughs> so fast pilots attack. They're going to Panther and Wolf, not going to do anything. Enemy sights and bandits attack. Remember, no bandits left. So just this sight right here, he's going to go ahead and shoot. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You can go ahead and shoot a Wolf. Um, we do not have anything to suppress anyway, so we'll start with the ECM pod, so six or higher. Please, please, please. Eight. Sweet. So the attack is negated, so don't have to worry about suppression, which we don't have anything to suppress with anyway. No weapons could reach him, so. Alright, so he dodges the attack with his ECM pod, thankfully. Um, that's the only, that's the only site that could attack us. Now we're slow pilot to attack, but like I said before, we don't run range of anything, so we're not going to do anything. Aircraft moving at just altitude. Panther, Bear, and Wolf are going to move into the center area, and they're going to stay at high altitude. We, both Panther and Bear, have high altitude weapons, so. All right. Bandits move. No bandits left. Advance a turn counter to turn four. Start at the top. Fast pilots attack. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to use one of Brick's situational awareness markers. Um, he's going to assign it to Bear, which will allow Bear to attack during this uh, fast phase as well. So I basically just want to get off and attack as fast as possible. So Wolf can't attack at all because he only has air-to-air -air missiles. Let's go ahead and start with Panzer, uh, excuse me, Panther. He has one, this GBU-16, it's a guided bomb, high-altitude attack. Let's go ahead and drop that bomb from high-altitude. 
Look at his air to ground, plus zero. Weapon modifier, excuse me, target modifier, none. Weapon modifier, none. So it's a straight die roll. Gets a hit on a three, two hits on five, seven, and nine. So we could, if we roll high, we could have a lot of hits. Let's see what we get. A two. So no hits whatsoever. Um, that's a real bummer. The bomb misses. Um, even though it's a guided bomb, guess because it was a minor bridge, it flies into the water, harmlessly explodes. All right, so now Bear, his turn. He also has a GBU-10 um, guided bomb. So with his, he has a plus one air to ground. No modifiers for the target and no modifiers for the, um, here. Actually, uh -oh, I just realized, I totally forgot my uh, plus one air attack and suppression die rolls. Um, I don't think it's mattered for suppression, has it? Actually, I think it, it did. That one would have been suppressed, but um, and now with my attacks as well. Shoot. Um, oops, we're going to ignore that. So, hey, best of us makes a mistake, guys. So feel free to comment below and, and point out as soon as you see it that, yep, I uh, totally forgot that. So I said it here so I'd remember, but you know how it is. You just kind of get in the game and you forget stuff. So anyway, so we're not going to worry about that right now. We're just going to say, oh, well, you know, no big deal. Let's go ahead and just start rolling. We will start taking into account going forward. So right now I get a plus one for my air to ground. No modifiers for the target. No modifiers for the weapon, but then plus one for that. So a total of plus two on my die roll. So plus two with that GB10 guided bomb. So five plus two is seven. That's a total of four hits. So very good there. Very good, actually. So we only need one more hit on it to destroy it. That's really nice. All right, cool. Um, all right, so that was the uh, fast pilot attack. Um, Sights and bandits attack. Where now we're looking at, we just have this bandit right here is going to be able to attack us. Um, yep, and he's going to go ahead and do the same whole random thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten is reroll. So once he's gonna go after Bear, um, there's no way for Bear to try to suppress it. Let's we'll see if the ECM pod helps. Uh, it's close to a one. We're just gonna say it's a one. So, all right, and like I said, there's no suppression. So now we're just gonna try to evade. So Bear's gonna go ahead and evade. So that gives us another two stress. It puts us at four, which he's still at okay. He's not uh, shaken yet. Thankfully, so that would hurt his uh, die rolls. He's gonna go ahead and roll two of these to see what his attack's gonna be. A two and a seven. So clearly he's gonna take the two, which does add another um, uh, stress. Unfortunately, puts him at five, which does make him drop to shaken. So he'll be he'll be uh, minus one on his attacks as opposed to plus one. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but at least he wasn't shot down. So all right, that was the. Uh, Sight and Bandit's attack. Now we could do Slow Pilot's attack. However, um, Bear only has can only attack from low altitude. His uh, unguided bomb. So yeah, he's not gonna be able to do anything. So what we're gonna do ahead. Go ahead and do is aircraft adjust move move and adjust altitude. They're all gonna drop to low altitude. The only reason I'm Wolf and or Bear and Panther both have bombs that can only drop from low. Wolf, I'm just dropping him because I'll be honest, kind of using him as like a decoy, hoping that maybe he'll be one of the ones to get attacked. So Bear and Panther can actually finish this target off. So, all right, that was the move. Bandits move, there are none. Bandits turn counter, turn five, last turn, guys. All right, let's see what we can do. Fast pilots attack. And once again, I am gonna use, I'm gonna use the last situational awareness counter on Brick, the Hawkeye, to give it to Bear so he can attack during the uh, fast aircraft phase as well, fast pilots. So, um, okay, so Panther, let's go ahead. He's gonna drop his unguided bomb. Um, it is, so it'll be plus zero. The target is small, so I believe the unguided have a minus. Um, allow me a second to look at the rules, guys. I know, I know I hate looking up the rules while I'm filming. I just really want to check this quick. Um, small, subtract one from all air to ground die rolls against the target. Oh, all of them, I guess. Okay, I thought it was if you only had an unguided bomb hmm well i guess a good news was it was offsetting from that so anyway um so okay so dumb bomb we're dropping a dumb bomb we have no pluses no modifiers for our weapon there is the minus one for being small however we do have the plus one from the sierra hotel so that'll even out so it's a straight die roll eight and eleven obviously we can't get an eleven on ten sided so we just need at least an eight because we need to get one more hit on that bad boy so hopefully we get at least an eight 
seven. So just barely, just splashes next to it in the water and explodes harmlessly. All right, this is it. So bear, he's the last one that has a true um, air to ground. I suppose wolf can stray for whatever. Oh, he has minus two. So even with his cannons, he won't be able to do anything to the bridge. So we're not gonna worry about wolf. Um, all right, so here we go. Bear's gonna drop his unguided bomb. Um, Bear has a, because he dropped a shaken, he has a minus one. Minus one for the bridge, plus one for that. So it's a total of minus one on the roll. He hits on a seven and a 10 with minus one means we need to roll at least an eight. So another eight, we need an eight to take out the bridge. We have four, so that misses as well. Bummer. All right, so those are fast pilots. Sights and bandits attack. Now that we're at low altitude, we can get hit by, let's see, this sight and the bad sight. Let's do the bad one first because it's the toughest one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See who attacks. Yep, he's gonna go ahead and attack bear. Um, bear is gonna use his ECM pod, so six or higher. He gets a one, so he fails, nothing to suppress with. He's gonna go ahead and just try to evade. So he's gonna take two stress, which brings him to doo -doo -doo, seven. You can find a seven stress marker in this, in this game. Never have to do that many. We're gonna go ahead and stack a two on top of the five just to show you how bad it is. So he's at seven, which he's still he's shaking, he's still there. Um, let's go ahead and roll. A nine. Oops, that was a nine. And then there's the other one. A nine. A what? A six. Okay, a six is the two hits, which two hits means he's damaged. So let's go ahead and put, um, let's put a little, like a little one damage marker on the damage to show that uh, the aircraft was damaged. All right, I had to pause the video for a second there. All right, we are back. Okay, so Bear, um, what happened? He took, yep, he took damage. Okay, all right. Um, so Bear took damage from this guy here. And then this site right here, he is going to attack. And he can attack, well, anybody it looks like. So let's go ahead and roll. Same deal. One through nine. Five, so that'll be Wolf. So he's going to go ahead and attack Wolf. Wolf will use his ECM pod. A six, so he's able to uh, avoid the attack. Perfect. All right. Slow pilots attack. Um, we there's nothing Bear can do. Unfortunately, we need one more hit on that minor bridge here to destroy. It needs five hits. I ha all I have left is a cannon. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to roll a ten. I don't know if a natural ten is a hit. I don't think it is. Maybe it is. I don't know. We could try it. So we'll pretend it is. We'll pretend it is just for the video. I don't even know. I'm not, I'm not gonna check the rules. Let's run it. Run with it. All right. Bear's gonna attack. He's gonna make a strafing run on the minor bridge. Cause it's already suffered four damage. The cr it's creaking. It's groaning. Let's see if we can get into the water. One d ten. All right, six. So no good. Strafing runs no good. So all right. Aircraft moving just altitude. This is the end. It's turn five. It's over. We're gonna go ahead. Return to base. RTB mission is a failure. Bridge is damaged, but not destroyed. So let's fly out of here quick. Get out of here before we get blowed up. All right, and then this will be a tough one, uh, at least on Bear. He's going to be in base for a while. Fighter repaired. He's got seven stress on him at least. And then, well, obviously there's going to be the stress for the band. We were, you know, two extra stress, stress to find a mission, etc., etc. So Bear's going to be out of commission for a while. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that uh mission guys it's a quick little run through i think the other two i filmed i was successful on both of them so i get to see the failure um we can do the homebound event if we want but i don't think we're going to do that because this was already a mission failure um, normally you draw another card let's see let's see what it is let's see what it is sam vehicles roll two two attack and random aircraft roll one less attack for each air to ground counter expended Are you kidding me let's do it you know what let's have some fun with this one two three four five six seven eight 9-10 is reroll. So he's going to attack. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you can attack Wolf. Uh, he has no air to ground, so let's go ahead and roll on here. 1 to 9 is a stress. 10 is destroyed. It's a 10. He was stressed. And now next attack is a 1, so that's on Brick. Oh, no, my Hawkeye. What are they going after him for? 5. He gets stressed, too. So 1 stress and 1 stress. Jeez, everyone's to a tough mission. Who knew more blowing up this minor bridge? But anyway, that is Hornet Leader. Um, as you can see, there's always something going on. That's what I love about this game. 
you never know what's going to happen. Um, I've done this mission a couple times already. And let me tell you, basically those were like milk runs, right? Those were, they were easy. I came in, blew up the bridge, suffered no damage, nothing like I just, you know, this is just stress from flying the mission. No big deal. This one, I failed the mission. Bear took damage, almost got shot down. Didn't, thankfully, but overall mission failure, bummer. Back to base and, uh, get it next time so thanks for watching guys please leave a comment if you enjoyed the video or if you didn't let me know what's up let me know what you'd like to see different and also please let me know any other games you'd like to see i've got a bunch of games in the pipeline but i'm always interested in what you guys want to see Till next time guys later